Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Philly Field where we are fighting for justice over here. Justice for Kalitha. Welcome to my social justice channel. All right, guys. As you know, um, we've been working with Miss Jackie Foley. We're just wanting her daughter's murker to have his day in court, Maxwell Williamson. You know, he took her life in Gwinnett County there two years ago, 2021. He's been out on bond now uh, since 2021, $30,000, $35,000 bond. Either way, it wasn't enough. He's out on bond and nothing's been happening. And now the DA in that county is running for re-election, Miss Patsy Gaston, I believe. And she has a challenger. And here she is right here, Miss Andrea, okay, who used to work for her. This is... Pat, this uh, that's her former boss now that she's running against. And I said I would make a short video. Here it is. Um, there she is. Look at her, Miss Andrea Allaby. The change we need. This is in Gwinnett County, Georgia. You know, you don't have to live there to support her. Okay, you don't have to live in Georgia, Gwinnett County to support this lady. We need her to unseat Miss Patty. Says the change we need, the experience we deserve. And then she tells you why she's running. Okay, there you go. She tells you why she's running before she decides to run for this seat. She says she had a conversation with her neighbors across Gwinnett County and heard the same concerns that we all want our children to come home safe every night. You know, whether you're in Arkansas, Georgia, Texas, it doesn't matter where you are. You want to be able to come home safe, you know, and feel safe for your family, your children, your grandchildren. That's what you want. And she says, Gwyneth needs a true advocate who knows how to fight for justice. This current DA believes in giving people house arrest when they murk people. Okay. And I just don't believe that's right. I wouldn't think it was right whether it was here in Arkansas, Pulaski County, or Gwinnett County. She says, a safer Gwinnett, fighting for victims and survivors, access to justice, accountability with second chances. Okay. And then you can contribute to her campaign. Meet Andrea. Andrea Allaby is a Gwinnett County native, first generation American mother, community leader, and an attorney with almost 15 years of experience, including 12 as a prosecutor. And again, she's trying to unseat Miss Patty. And let me show you here. Let me get over here to Miss. Let me pull this picture up. Here's the information on Miss Patty. It's her campaign. You can email her at patsy4da at gmail.com. And just ask her, we our question is, what is a re, what do you consider a reasonable amount of time before someone is given a court date once they've been charged? He's been she likes to reduce it from murk charges to manslaughter and then give them five years of house arrest. Miss Patty, the current DA. And this lady over here is trying to unseat her who used to work for her. Okay. Yes, she did. She used to work for her. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to watch this video again um, that they did about, you know, Miss Andrea running against her former boss. The county's top prosecutor is facing a primary challenger who says the county's low murder conviction rate is inviting criminals. Channel 2 Gwinnett County Bureau Chief Matt Johnson's live in Lawrenceville. And Matt, your investigation actually played a big role in this. And this new challenger is a Democrat who is taking on incumbent Democrat Patsy Austin Gatson. She says that she's already had concerns about the DA's office when she left here for Fulton County, but our investigation made her wanted to do want to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Gwinnett County District Attorney Patsy Austin Gaston now has a primary opponent who says safety and mismanagement concerns are why it's time for a new top prosecutor. And if a prosecutor isn't doing their job, it's time to hold them accountable. Andrea Allaby is the current Chief Assistant Solicitor General in Fulton County and a former Gwinnett County prosecutor. The Gwinnett native says our investigation into the county's murder conviction rate falling to 57% last year was part of her decision to run against her former boss. I think it invites people to individuals to come to Gwinnett County and commit crimes. Austin Gatson didn't respond for a request for comment on Tuesday. In January, she defended her office and said she's noticing Gwinnett County jurors are more reluctant to convict people for murder. I think they're looking at things like that, different podcasts that claim people are innocent when they're sitting in jail and have been 
previously convicted. Retired Gwinnett police detective Shannon Coolness says it's had an effect on current police officers. The lack of dedication coming from this office has just been very upsetting for, for so many of us. In 2021, Juan Davila was run over in his driveway and killed in Gwinnett County. Davila's widow says prosecutors promised her a murder conviction. Ernest Palayo was charged with murder of his brother-in-law, but prosecutors let him plead to manslaughter, which let him serve five years of house arrest. She says if there's a new DA, she hopes there's better communication with victims' families. Well, I hope that justice be delivered for all the families out there that are going through this horrible times. Now, this primary election is not until May of next year. So far, and then though it's very early, this is a two-person race. Live in Gwinnett County, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News. So, again, let me rewind that a little bit. So, as you can see there, you have Miss Patsy right there in the middle, who's the current DA. And then you have Miss Andrea over there on the side, who's running against her. She used to work for Miss Patsy. Andrea is a former prosecutor from full, I mean, from Gwinnett County. And she's trying to unseat Patsy. She just doesn't feel that she's doing her job. I personally don't feel she's doing her job because it's been since 2021 and Maxwell is still out on a cheap bond of $30,000 and has not been given a court date. I want to ask both of these young ladies, I'm going to call both of their campaign quarters and ask them, what do you consider to be a reasonable amount of time before someone is given a court date? And again, there's Miss Patsy's information right there. And I already showed you how to contact Miss Andrea. All right, guys, thank you all so much. I do appreciate it. Thank you for supporting Justice for Kalita. Thank you for supporting the Foley family. And thank you for supporting my social justice channel. You guys have a wonderful day.